Now, um, the next bit is mainly for the boys in the room, fellas. I made a mistake, uh, and I'm warning you never to do this. I bought a pregnancy book written by a man aimed at men. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> I had three goes at that. I had three goes at that. Pregnancy books written by men, aimed at men. And you very quickly learn they're not written by men, aimed at men. They're written by wankers, aimed at cretins. <laughs> they're all written like mid-90s copies of FHM, so if they use a word like cervix, they have to have two lines of banter so everyone calms down. <laughs> they all start off with a chapter saying something like, when I found out my missus was pregnant, I thought, why are there no pregnancy books written by men, aimed at men? Well, suppose it's up to muggins here to write one. Um, <laughs> They all contain statistics like, upon finding out their missus is pregnant, over 90% of fellas think, is it mine? What sewer were you conducting your research in? <laughs> Who the fuck were you talking to? <laughs> Disgusting. Eventually, after a few missed starts, what I did was I got a pregnancy book uh, written by a woman aimed at women, and I used my university level education to change words like you to her, just on the fly as I was reading it. <laughs> And then presented with a number of problems. I don't really understand uh, the world very much at the moment. I thought, what well, I'm bringing somebody into the world. And I got that letter from the headmaster about uh, that thing with the kids on Twitter and people threatening to kill the kids. And I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And I was having a pint with a friend of mine. And, uh, and he's got kids. He's got an 11 year old boy. And he said, uh, well, yeah, of course, it's very difficult now, isn't it? This, uh, yeah, it's very par parenting. You know, it's very difficult now, of course. I mean, one of the main things uh, that's very difficult is uh, they've all got uh, Facebook and iPhones. I was like, what? What, 11 year olds have got Facebook and iPhones? He was like, yeah, 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 you have to get them Facebook and iPhones when they get to big school. <laughs> what? He was like, yeah, 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 you've got to, you, you, this thing you've got to remember is uh, it's a great tool. Yes, it is, isn't it? And what have we known for centuries you don't give children? Tools. <laughs> and he goes, it's, it's not that simple. I was like, it is that simple. I'll show up at your son's school on Monday. I'll give them all hammers. By the end of the day, some of them will be dead. <laughs> I don't want to raise a weird kid. Like, you can't uh, have your kid be the only one without that sort of thing. When I was at school, a guy in my class didn't have a television. Whenever he went around somebody's house to watch TV, he got so excited he got sick on himself. <laughs> Nobody wants to raise that kid. So you're like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And I was like, I know what I'll do, I know what I'll do. Uh, first kid comes into my kid's school with an iPhone, I'll send my kid in with a chainsaw. Yeah! <laughs> Up the ante, that's a good tool. Great tool, a chainsaw, classic tool. I can't wait for that parent-teacher conference. It's gonna be amazing. Um, Miss Mick, I'm afraid, um, uh, I'm afraid Joey's, uh, he's cut David's leg off. <laughs> yeah, well, boys will be boys. <laughs> yeah, but he hasn't got a leg. Look at him, he's got a bloody leg. He's got to go through life without a leg now. He's like, yeah, but do you remember last week when he filmed them all smoking marijuana on his iPhone and now they'll never be able to get jobs? At least he's gonna get a parking space. <laughs> It's usually the line there. Uh, thanks for going for that. They really didn't last night in Bath. 